Hey guys, what's up? It's gonna be tough today. Also gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Coyote, Max, Andy, what's going on, guys? Excited to be here. There's gonna be raging. There's also gonna be success today. But it's gonna be, yeah. <laughs> you know why? You remember, Andy. You, you remember those guys. You remember those guys. <laughs> All right, <laughs> this is, I've been looking forward to doing this again, and I really wanted to go ahead and get started on it, because I don't want to wait too long between playing this, because I forget everything about it. It's a long game, it's hard, and <laughs> let's just see what happens. Hold on, let me, I can get In stubborn, what's up, man? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the uh, commands in chat yet for like a bot or anything. Mike is bad again. Okay, let me see if I can fix that. Too qu I'm guessing it's quiet. All right, I'm guessing. Okay, microphone is, I think it's getting better. It's getting better. It's getting a lot better. Maybe it's a little too loud now. Okay, how does this. That's too loud. Okay, that I think this is going to be a lot better right here. I think this is where we're going to be. If it's too loud, if it's too quiet, you guys just let me know. Just let me know, and I will work on it. Okay, right there. We're going to leave it right there. And the game should be about good right here. If it gets too loud or too quiet, I will adjust that as well. All right, so let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling. So... Option mode. We are putting the game level on professional. This is going to be, t and this is how many lives you can start with. Well, we're just going with the default three. Yeah, I could put it on nine. No, we're not doing that. We're putting, we're keeping it on three. Let's get rolling. All right, so uh, <laughs> here's our quick little story. These these are older games. I have a quick story to get you started. A demon's gonna come and steal the princess, and we gotta go get her back. That, that's all we gotta do. <laughs> that's the whole story. There is not much else to say about the story. Alright, so let's get it done. Holy shit, my Discord server got nuked. What, what happened, man? How did that happen? All right, so the, the first thing we got to do is get better weapons. We need the crossbow. No, we do not need the torch. That thing sucks. This game is, has terrible balance on the weapons. There are some weapons you don't want to touch. Andy was here last time. He remembers how mad I got when I picked up that blade weapon that, like, went all over the place. All right, let's get... Okay, armor in this game doesn't do much. You can take two hits before you die. Yeah, that weapon. We're, if I get that weapon, I'm just going to keep killing myself until I can try and replace it. Because that's the worst weapon in a video game I think I've ever seen. I really need the crossbow, and I need it very soon, because success in this game depends on getting the crossbow early on. I'm not impressed with... There it is! There's the crossbow. Alright, we're good. Now, no more changing weapons. Alright, what is this? Is it going to be the gold armor? Yes, okay. God, if I get that weapon again. I got it by accident last time. Okay, so you, you have a limited amount of lives and continues, but if you pick up money bags, you can get more continues. So, we got to try and do that as well. It's a long grind. It's going to take a long time to get through this game. I'm going to die a lot. So this is why I like the crossbow. It fires homing shots. And it also fires three shots at once. Reached 10,000 trophies on Brawl Stars and got Lou from Mega Box. Is that a popular series? Sorry if I don't know anything about it, Max. I'm sorry. I still need to see that game in action. You've talked about it before. Let's not get hit here. It's so easy to get hit in this game. 
Not picking up another weapon. I'm happy with this one. I'm supposed to get through this. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> How am I supposed to get through that? Now my weapon's powered down and I've got no armor. I don't even know how to get up there to get that money bag. At least I got at least I've got the crossbow. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Get past it all. Mega box is a loot box, okay, yeah. They didn't have that kind of stuff when <laughs> I was growing up with games. They did, there were no loot boxes and stuff. Alright, we gotta dodge the waves early stage is not that bad, but you can die quickly on any stage in this game. Alright, where's some armor? Need armor. Alright, get the chest. And this game also has uh, enemies inside the treasure boxes. That can be a problem as well. You can double jump in this game. That helps a lot. Alright, I think I made it to a checkpoint on stage one. By the way, guys, there's a new version of this game on Nintendo Switch, so we'll be getting that and streaming it. I've heard it's extraordinarily difficult. You know that's going to be right up our alley. I'm very happy not to have died yet. <laughs> Extremely happy. Oh, there's first death. Okay, that's fine. There's going to be a lot of that. Do commands on a server and some guy set it off. you got to be careful about who you give permission to do stuff with on these, these kind of, like, Discord servers and stuff. you got to be real careful about that. Find a way to solve the corruption in the footage. Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah, you mentioned that before, Max. I, I'd like to see it. I know I know nothing about that kind of stuff. All right, give me the chest. Give me the chest. We got to get the upgraded armor again. I don't want another weapon. Kind of hit me, isn't it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh Jesus! Come on. Get that money bag up there. Damn it, I can't die this much on level one and finish this game. May not finish it again today. This is level one, and I'm dying. Anti TF2 bot that was an anti bot server. Most of them don't. Play. Ugh. What was that? I don't know. I jumped off the into the water a second ago. I don't I don't know. I'm actually thinking about starting over. We we can't lose a continue on level one. We really can't. The absolute dreadful start. I'm not surprised. I haven't played in a while. Nope, no other weapons. We gotta figure out how to get that. That's how you get it. Alright, you can get this with a double jump. Okay. Alright, we'll take the armor back. That was really close. It's gonna fall. That's gonna gonna roll down, yep. Alright. Tempted to go the bottom way. I don't know if this is a good idea. No, this is not a good idea. We're going this way. Okay. 
Yeah, don't read chat while playing a hard game. Yeah, I did take a hit just a second ago because I was glancing at the chat. All right. Bosses in this game aren't that bad. It's getting to them that's a problem more so than anything else. All right. Yeah, see, like I said, bosses aren't that bad. For the most part, some of them are. All right, so that's level one. A long way to go. A long way to go. I'm dreading the laser beams on those last guys. I, I really am. That, it, that... Oh my god! Come on, man. Give me a break here. Can't pick anything else up. I like this weapon too much. That just gave me an idea. We could do a playthrough of this game if I ever finish it with different weapons. <laughs> not the crossbow. Something crappy. See if it's actually doable. I bet it's not. Alright, how about giving me a chance to get up this ladder here? Alright, we're going. We're dying. Alright, there goes my first continue. How many do I even have? I don't know. Got six continues. All right. This is not... Pro you can get more. You pick up those money bags. You pick up so many, it gives you another continue. So, I mean, if, if I don't do too horrible, we can stay afloat here. Nope, don't need any other weapons. Most of the other weapons in this game suck, by the way. All right, good. We got the powered-up armor. That'll help a little bit. Don't hit me. Okay. All right, we gotta go. Just gonna run. I think if you touch the water, you just die. Whoa, okay, that was close. I'd really like to pick that up. All right. I'm just going to run past everything. I think that's the best thing to do here. I think last time I played through this, I tried to fight everything. That was not what you do. All right. Oh, my. I hate this part. You're not going to be able to play TF2 for two weeks? Oh, I'm going to be playing TF2. Not today. I'm going to need the whole stream time to get through this game, I'm sure. This is a long game. A very long, hard game. Mooncat, what's up, man? Hope you've been well lately. Hope you're having a good Thursday. <laughs> I was close. Holy crap. By the way, if you guys ever wanted to try this game, it's available on the N Nintendo Switch for free if you have an online connection. They have a bunch of old retro games that you can play if you just have an online connection. It's on. It's in there. By the way, Brawler Lou, I was talking about, it's basically a robot that shoots snow cones and freezes enemies, and it's super as cool. If ice makes you slide and extremely annoying, I have a lot of fun with that. Anyway, how's your day, Mixer? It's been good. It's been good. Got a lot of work done over the last several days, and the internet seems to be working okay, so that's a that's a positive. So things could be a lot worse, honestly. I'm I'm not displeased with things the way they are right now. I was not happy with the internet connection last week. It was unusable. Or well, at least the upload speed. Work, stream, win? Never. Absolutely never. That's what I spend most of my time doing. I would never want to do that on stream. It's so boring and slow. All 
All right, maybe I can make up for those deaths on level one by not dying at all on this. That would be great. Not a fan of these auto-scroller levels, honestly. I'm really not. All right, do I want that? No, I don't want that. I might as well turn the game off if I pick that up. All right, there. <laughs> Had to get the hell away from it. Yeah, no work streams. Absolutely not. Do enough of that. Just keep throwing stuff. They're tracking shots, so they'll kill stuff for me. There we go. Whoever designed this game, they did, they did a poor job with the weapons. The, like, this weapon is too good, and most of the other weapons suck, so this is what you're dealing with. Alright, we're about to fight the boss. Boss, I don't remember being too bad. I didn't miss too much. I wanted to catch strings with some pipes burst in my house, so I couldn't. Oh, that sucks, man. Really glad you're back. I was wondering, I was, the other day, St. Joseph brought up and brought you up, and I was going, yeah, I, w I hope Mooncat's doing well. I haven't seen him in a while, so I hope he is well. I'm glad to see you again, man. Right, let's get this guy dead if we can. See, if I couldn't even hit this guy if I had a different weapon half the time. Right, I think he can fire from off the screen. Yeah, he can do that. <laughs> All right, he's dead. All right, perfect. Perfect. This is good. This is really good. No deaths on level two. I, well, actually, there was one. I've beaten Eye of Cthulhu and Brain of Cthulhu on Terraria. Very nice, Max. Good start. Eater of Worlds is next. That's the next boss you're going to be going for. No, actually, it's not. Your world is in the Crimson, so the Brain was the boss instead. Okay, that's right. I haven't played in a while. Great game. I love that. I don't know if I'll stream it, though. Oh, my God. I don't want to pick that up. If I pick that up... Well, I broke my monitor and I have school for two weeks, basically last days of school, and I'm going to get a new monitor after two weeks. Yeah, it's going to be boring without TF2 or any game. That does suck, man. Yeah. Don't pick it up. Okay. Half the danger in this game is picking up the wrong weapon. Ah, oh, crap. And Cheater hit me through the floor. No, they weren't my upgraded weapon. Alright, let's kill this guy. That one's, that's gonna kill me in one hit. You can only take two hits in this game before you die. That was kinda close! <laughs> wow! I don't really want that guy right there. Okay, we need really good timing here. There we go. Alright, let's get this fire bear or whatever the hell this monster is. Oh, uh, yep, we gotta do some platforming here. Oh boy. Alright, where do you go here? I don't remember. I don't remember from the last stream of this. I think you go this way. Ugh! Okay, now where do you go? I don't know. I don't know where to go! Shit, dude. That was scary, man. I got so lucky. Thank God. You would love Terraria stream? Well, maybe we'll do it sometime. Maybe we will. St. Chosen, what's up, man? What you guys talking about? Hold up, the chat's scrolling fast here. He's going to get some grapes. I love grapes. Forgot to tell you, I met a toxic free-to-play streamer on Christmas. Not a very nice person, just because he can't aim or hit me. Well, not in, uh, some streamers are, I guess, not, not super 
Oh no, oh no, this guy. Oh god, I'm just... I think the checkpoint's like nearby, so I'm just gonna keep running and if he kills me, that's fine. I'm gonna die here. So dead. Pug, what's up, man? All you guys are having a good Thursday. I'm just I'm just glad to be able to stream without the lag today. I have dropped some frames, only 174, so that's fine. All right, got the armor back. Perfect. Oh, we got to pick this stuff up. Yeah. We need continues or I will run out of lives. It's going to happen at some point. Amazingly enough, I'm doing better on these levels than I was on level one. Guy was getting mad at me for playing sniper and man versus machine. Why? I know the some classes work better than others, but I would expect sniper to be good practically anywhere due to just the high damage output. I'm sure you can headshot the robots. No, don't hit me. Okay. This game is very panic inducing because of how quickly you can die. I can't wait to try the new version of this game on Switch that just came out like a week or two ago. Hearing it's giving people fits. Paco bot affiliator, by the way, that time, but I never heard of that. Oh, we got goblins, that's right. Now I don't wanna oh! Still going well here, not taking hits. Today was the first day I played Man vs. Machine. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know anything about it either. <laughs> Is there like like community servers for that? I wouldn't mind trying it sometime. Am I supposed to get by this? I don't want the weapon. I'm gonna just get hit here. I know I am. What, do they just come forever? I guess so. They're just dropping down. Alright. I don't remember what this boss was. I think it was some kind of worm or something. Oh, this. That's right. Okay. Awesome, now I get to go all the way back here. When you get hit, you get knocked back, Andy. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but that's the way it works. Now we gotta get all the way back there again. What you guys talking about? Paco bought a site that blacklists anyone did something wrong like using gas pass or, oh, okay. Funny encounter with an asshole lost three fights against me in Minecraft because I was obviously hacking. I was comboing him like a god. He could hit me. I hit you. Don't want to say I'm pro player, but that dude was just bad. I feel that Max, don't worry about that stuff. I, I mean, people that are not good at PvP type games are always going to assume people are cheating a lot of times if they get beat. That's just an extremely common thing. I mean, that, that, that's been going on with me and Team Fortress forever, and you guys have seen that how many shots I miss in that game, but... <laughs> it's just people being toxic. Not gonna get any chest here. I don't want to stop. Well, now we have to finish the level without taking any hits. That's great. And the goblins are still to come up here. All right, bats didn't get me at least. 
Taco Bot guy joined my game in the last wave and said some guy cheated, so they griefed the match. Well, th that's not exactly inspiring me to want to try man versus machine. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that. How can I not get that? That. All right. I remembered to record it. Super funny and entertaining. You know, it's always funny to get some guy acting stupid on the internet, which is like all the time. Uh, I don't know if you guys, all you guys have seen it, but I've like recorded when people get mad at me all the time in Team Fortress. I used to. That was before I started streaming. I'll have to put some of those like anger montages in Discord so you guys can see it. It's pretty funny. They're on my Steam page. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have never seen that. Wouldn't be the internet without a bunch of raging. And it wasn't always this bad, guys. Back in older times, it, people weren't nearly as toxic as they are now. People were way more serious and... I don't know, it was just a... The internet was a calmer place. I guess you could say that's kind of good and bad. It's kind of more chaotic these days. From Jump King to Throw King. Joshy, what's up, man? Yep. It's a hard game. I've tried to play through this before. I got to the end, and I didn't make it. I ran out of lives, and you have to start all over, and it takes a long time to get there. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to... You you guys will see something crazy if I can get through the game that will... You'll wonder why they did it, and I don't know why they did it either. It just It's unnecessary difficulty, but it, it, you'll see it. Let's see if we can get back to the boss. I actually don't want the powered-up weapon for this boss. I don't want to pick the knife up. Okay. Why do you get mad that someone's playing a class that will triple your damage? Because people are stupid and don't understand how, how games work. Raging YouTube content. Pretty much. Pretty much. Thump! The, what the shit was that? How was I supposed to know it was going to happen like that that time? Last time he appeared like below me. That was bullshit. Come on. Alright, maybe I will take the powered up weapon. I need to kill that guy faster. It's just I, I don't want to really stop to pick up chest here because I'm afraid bad things are going to happen if I slow down. No! Random bullshit. No, don't pick that up. Okay. I'm not going back for that. There's a bat coming fast on me. All right. It's like a zoo bat from Pokemon. <laughs> These red bats here, that's what they look like. I know about the original Pokemon. I don't know about any of the new ones. What are you guys talking about? Do they also think they're gods about the toxic people on Man vs. Machine, so they're stupid? Yeah, that's about right. Speaking of YouTube, is your channel partnered yet? I'm not getting ads when I'm watching your videos. No, I think you have to get to a hundred subscribers, Joshy. And I'm at like 58 or something. I mean, we'll get there in time. It's it's slow growth on YouTube because there's just so many people on there posting videos. I expect an extremely slow growth there. And I don't edit any of my YouTube videos. I just stick them on there straight from the stream. I think a lot of big time YouTubers spend a ton of time editing their videos. 
I don't have time to do that, unfortunately, so I just gotta roll with just the standard VODs here straight off Twitch. I wish I had more time to, like, edit the videos down to, like, more manageable content, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. No, I think you, I think you have to have 100 subscribers. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, though. Or for... Okay, you think maybe it's 4,000 hours? I'll have to look into that. I will definitely have to look at that. I haven't looked as much as what, like, the requirements for stuff on YouTube, but I think I saw where maybe it was like 100. I don't know. I, I'm probably wrong. No, no, no! Okay. You can telegraph when things are about to hit you in this game. You can just see it coming. Alright, give me the money bags. You pick up enough money bags, you get more continues. They're really important. I'm going to try and get this. I don't want any more weapons. Quit trying to give me weapons. I like this one. Yeah, those highlight videos I have put up there, those they take more time to create because you actually have to watch through your old videos and rip out the... the good parts, but for Team Fortress it's pretty easy because I've got a kill streak counter on my weapon, so I can skip through my own videos pretty quick just to find the parts where it says like, uh, kills 20 or something, and then I just scroll back to where that streak starts, and then that's pretty quick and easy, but for like a game like this, it, it would be kind of difficult for me to cut it down, because I'm really not sure what to cut in, and well, I mean like what to keep and what to drop out. YouTubers that are really good at it, they they would know exactly what parts to keep and stuff, but I'm not sure. That's why I did for Battletoads, I just did death montages, because I thought that would be pretty funny, because you die so much in that game. And this game would maybe work similar. Alright, there's the powered up armor. And there went the powered up armor. That accomplished a lot, and there's a weapon I don't want. Just get me through it. Okay, I get to fight the worm again. Having a 100 ping on TF2 bad? It's not terrible, Ren. It's not. I mean, a lot of streamers on Casual I complain about me having a 100 ping. I think it's normal. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Not sure. I think 8-minute videos are the minimum for creators. Now, it used to be 10 minutes, so highlights work a lot. Okay. That makes perfect sense. I, I personally like longer videos, but... I know that's not really what's popular. My personal preference is to like watch a longer video and like just different parts and then like come back to it later, but I know that's not what most people want to do. Okay, this time I'm going to dodge whatever this crap is. Like that. Now what? Now what's going to happen? Now what's going to happen? Okay. How many hit points does this guy have? Yes! Alright, another level down. <sighs> I died a lot there, that's unfortunate. We're getting there. See, the end's up there. Getting there. I remember not liking this level last time I played through it. Oh, this, yeah, that's right, okay. Oh, where am I supposed to go? Okay, okay. I was about to say I'm gonna take a hit there. I'm guessing if you drop down there, you die. Yeah, more people need to play Jump King St. Joe's and just more of everybody, not just toxic people, more of everybody. And they need to record it and put it on YouTube. That's 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 what, what the world needs more of that stuff. Don't want the lance. We're moving on. How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? That's bullshit. Come on. 
Oh, this guy can fire through the walls. Why can't I? Can't even get close to this thing right now. I'm hitting it? Yeah, it's dead. Okay. I shot it off screen too, so that'll work. That made make things a little bit more fair. Alright, get those money bags. We need every last one we can get our hands on. Get enough of them, you get another continue. Look at this weapon doing work, man. See, if I was using another weapon, it, it, it wouldn't be anywhere close to like this. Realize Mixer can recognize some of my baggy pants or crouch jumping. Yeah, pretty much. I've seen you enough in game. I've seen you enough in game to recognize that now. Some guy was getting mad because I had the engineer let me have the dispenser, but he didn't upgrade its distance, so I got blamed for it. Well, that's his fault. That doesn't... It sounds like there's toxic people playing that game mode. I don't know if I want to play it with people being that stupid. Alright, this is going to be a long jump here. There we go. This guy can double jump. He's way better than Jump King. Don't want that. Quite satisfied with this weapon. Alright, I guess I'm supposed to go left here. Alright, I think that's the halfway point for this stage. There's a checkpoint. Oh, this again. This sucks. I don't like this. Not toxic, just cringe. Yeah, I'm, I'm having reservations about playing. Where am I supposed to go with that? Is that game over again? There goes another continue. How many continues? We got eight now. See, I'm picking them up. But if you get stuck on a spot and keep dying, you lose them quick. All right, that last a certain amount of time. Hey, you got to give me a chance to jump over that. Okay, what do you do here? How did I get past this last time? I don't know. I think most of the time toxic players must play two cities and mecha in. Never played that either. Can I jump over this? No! The fuck you do here? I'm about to lose another continue. What if I get to the the very front of this platform? Will that help? See if I can go under that. Okay, I guess that's what they want you to do. I can't even hit this thing. Oh my god, I hate that this level sucks. Yeah, I'm going to stay at the front of this to try and trigger enemies and other stuff so I have more time to react to it. Oh my god, I jumped through the wall. I don't even know, didn't know that was even possible. Alright, is this level about over? Please say it's close to being over. I don't want to see this level anymore. No! Okay. Apps get you good at the game? I wouldn't think so. Some people might think that in Team Fortress 2. Oh, he's not wearing a hat. He's no good. Alright. I don't remember this boss being hard. Use our double jump very carefully here to take him out. I'm 
doing a ton of damage here. Is he dead? Dead, all right. Another level down. We're, we're moving, guys. We're moving. Got a long way to go. We're moving. K4, what's up, man? Hope you're having a good Thursday. You're trying this again. Hoping to do better than last time. Nope, don't want that. No axe, no sickles, no blades, no daggers, no tri-blade or whatever the hell that thing was called that I hated. See, most weapons in this game, they fly in a straight line. They don't shoot at an angle like this crossbow does. That's why I need this weapon. I haven't decided on another game for today. I really haven't. I may not have time for one. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, I don't remember this. Did I even pick that up? I'm gonna fall off the ledge if I pick that up. Let's try and get it. That's how you get it, all right. That dead, all right. I would be so screwed if I didn't have this weapon, like I said. I did play this game as a kid, so I knew a little bit about it coming in, but as far as like getting anywhere, I never made it anywhere. So on stream, this is the other playthrough, it was like my first real attempt to beat the game. Last time it took me three hours and like 15 minutes to do everything I wanted to get to the end of this game. So I may not have time for another game. We'll see how it goes. I think I'm doing fairly decent now, though. Alright, is this a checkpoint? That would be awesome if it was. Mixer make a reward called Use a Baby Face Blaster for one second for a hundred trillion mixer money. Well, no, if you want to see the baby f face blaster bad enough, you can just switch it to me for the regular 10,000 points. For, like, other channel points, I was thinking about putting, like, a bad game redemption thing on there so you could force me to play a really bad game I hate. But that would have to be for, obviously, a lot more points. There's some I'm thinking of, honestly, but... And I really don't want to play them, but I mean, if people want to spend that much, many points to force me to play them, I guess we could do that. Oh boy, this guy. All right. I think the checkpoint's here, so if he kills me now, I think that's going to be fine. Just got a one-up, and that's good. Ghost of the Babe. Yeah, we will have to put a rule in that it can't be something I've already beaten. I'm not playing Ghost of the Babe ever again. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't take a hit there. Wolves are coming for me. All right. There's a lot of bad games out there. Some truly frighteningly bad ones that are, I mean, not just difficult-wise, that are just aren't fun to play. It would just be an absolute frustration fest. I I own many of them that are old, and I tried to play them as a kid and hated them and practically never touched them again. Okay, what happened with this part? There was like some kind of there was a snow part. Yeah, and if you hold on to the ladder, you don't get washed away in the avalanche. I think I died a couple of times here the first time I did this because I didn't understand that. Awesome. Complete Jump King three times in a row for 69 mixer money. I have pass on that, Mac. Cool, I didn't know that was going to happen. All right, well, there's another continue lost. A long way to go. We don't need to be dying. Down to six. We are on stage four.
The next time we play a Jump King game, it'll be Jump King Online. Let's see if there's, like, treasure around. Uh-huh. See? Treasure chests are hidden. And the way you get items is you have to open so many chests in a row, and that's how you upgrade the armor. The arm, the higher-end armor... The, oh my god, you can't jump into the ceiling right there. I didn't know that. Alright, now I do. <laughs> Guess the spike should have given that one away, but I honestly thought that was part of the background. Alright, let's hold on to this. And just go above it. Alright, get this ice bear out of here. Nope, not doing that again. Yeah, that's pi, yeah. 3.14. <laughs> you've done any kind of math, you know what pi is. And it goes on for a really long time. Is there going to be another avalanche here? I think, yeah. Pick this up. Is this the boss? Please be the boss. Alright, I have no armor though, so he's going to kill me in one hit. I'm just going to stay back here. Hold maximum range. That would have killed me. Alright, it doesn't appear he can come any closer than that, so... This weapon will do its job. Can't believe that didn't hit me. I was just anticipating death right there. going to die or what? Back to the start of the ice. Oh, no! He's going to jump. He's going to jump. No, he's not. Okay. Everything was fine last time. Treasure chest around here, that'd be great. Oh, what? This one is quite fine. This weapon honestly does not do that much damage, but it's easy to hit stuff with it because it fires two shots at a nice angle. Come on, Ice Bear, move up. No, oh, you're there. All right, we really need a, a treasure chest here. If I get one more chest, I think it upgrades the armor. Last time, the avalanche happened at a decent time. That's what got me killed. All right, I was anticipating that that time. All right, there's going to be a wolf right there. Yep, I'm hitting him. Ice bear's dead. Oh my gosh, okay. How about a treasure? 
there are no more treasures on this? I would like an upgraded weapon to fight the boss. If there's one right here. Nope, there's nothing. Great. Alright, we'll fight him again. Hopefully this time he just won't hit me. I have no idea how to dodge that. Yes! Alright, we got him. Alright, another boss down. Holy crap. We just got an extra life. Orlock, what's up, man? Yeah, we then we just knocked that clown out. Have dinner, see you later. Alright, Max, I'll catch you later. Alright, don't want that. Was this a level that had all the... Yep, I, I remember this from last time. This had all the, the demons on it. I don't have the powered up armor, so we gotta beat them the hard way. Imagine not having the crossbow for this. Fuck. I don't even know how you would do this without it with any other weapon. All right, I think he died. Got more, though. All right, so this is working. This is working. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. He's dead, okay. This weapon is way too good. Nope, don't want that. Game's over if I pick that shit up. Oh, the birds. I remember that from the last time as well. Come on, be armor. Arm. Alright, we need a chest, and I don't know where to get one because there's another demon right there. No chest here. We'll have to fight him without it. Chest here, yes. Don't want that. You gotta open so many chests to get the powered up armor, though. There he is. Best video game villains at dodging. This guy. Alright, dead. That's okay, only two, two or three more to go. There goes another continue. Still hanging in there at six. Oh my god, don't pick that up. That's the worst weapon in the game. Don't even get near it. That thing is a piece of trash. You guys think the babyface blaster was bad. <laughs> you see that thing in action. And I'm not getting it. 
If you want to see it in action, look at my other video of this game. Is guy dead or not? Best weapon! Oh my god. Someone was on crack when they came up with that weapon. It hit literally everything but the target. No! There's nowhere better to fight these guys. It's above me, okay. Hit him three times. He's dead, okay. Not gonna get armor. Nope, we're not getting a lance. Imagine fighting that guy with a weapon that flies in a straight line. No thanks. That's the weapon I remembered, yes. That's it. We're not getting it. Like I said, you want to see it in action? Look at my other playthrough of this game on YouTube. It's the stupidest thing you'll ever see. Alright, we gotta beat another one of these guys. I don't want him directly above me, that's gonna get me killed. What did I say? Oh, don't want it. I'm only opening the chest because if you open so many in a row, you get the better armor. Now he's underneath me. That's perfect. Yeah, you can hide in the wall, you son of a bitch, and there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, he can shoot me through the wall. Fuck! You can't outrun these guys. I've tried. I think I tried on the last playthrough. They just follow you through the whole level. Maybe he's just going to be stuck down there. Alright, I'll just keep going then. Screw you, buddy. Oh, no. N now he's free. Okay. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? This level is terrible. <laughs> that weapon's even worse. It might be. It hits. It shoots along the ground. That's that's exactly what you would need against this guy. That was total BS. He was hiding in the ground where I could do nothing. And then the instant I start moving up, he attacks me when the other guy comes for me. Th Please die. Yes. There, I was hoping there would be another chest here. Oh, and we got a time limit too. I don't, don't want to let the time limit run out. I did not mean to fall back down here. Ooh, that was some nice damage. He got hit like four or five times right there. No, don't get underneath me again. That's bullshit. Bitch. What do you think about that? Now, I need the armor. Yes! Now I have tracking shots. Let's see him run away from that shit. Watch. Alright, I'm excited about this. We got the powered up armor. not easy to kill them, even with this weapon tracking to where they are. Alright, we got the gold armor. That really doesn't help me.
All right, gotta beat this guy. All right, dead, all right. And that level's done. All right, here we are at stage six. Yeah, last time I had the goddess bracelet when I was here. That's what you need to finish the game. And you can't get the goddess bracelet yet. You can get it soon, but not quite. As you will soon see once I get past this level, the awful truth gets revealed about this game. Alright, we're not taking a hit here no matter what. I cannot afford a hit here. We need the, the tracking arrows to deal with another one of those demons because there's one coming up. Okay. So he's right here. Gotta kill him. And he gets wrecked because we have a weapon that can actually track to him. Oh, I don't want any of this stuff. Nope. Okay, I really don't need any more treasure at this point. One of these birds needs to die. There's two here. This next part coming up with the ghost, I looked at it on my last playthrough before I, this stream, and I'm going to try and run past it. I, that may be a terrible idea, but I've got to know. I got stuck here many times. I need a bit easier way to do this. I'm gonna just going to try and run past this as fast as I can. Oh, can you do this? Can you, can you now, can you get through? Oh my God, it's doable. That's a game changer right there. I was looking at the past video of that. All right. This is where I got to last time, but in a certain different way though. Weapon's actually not helping me. Not tracking to his. Oh, fuck. Okay. This might actually make it easier, though. Yeah, see, now I can actually get an, get an angle on this guy. The tracking shots are not hitting, hitting the correct hitbox. All right, dead. Yeah, one hit and you lose everything. The gold armor, if you're using different weapons, you can cast magic spells that do, like, extra damage and stuff. But I'm using the crossbow, which the magic spell for the crossbow only reveals all the other chests on the screen. So the gold armor with the crossbow is practically useless. It doesn't do anything. All right, so now we got to kill this guy. This guy's really easy with the crossbow because I don't even think he can hit me unless he's over here. Yeah. This is why this weapon is so good, because otherwise I'd have to be standing on his level to hit him with all those lasers and fire and all that shit going on. Okay, now, you think this is the end of the game, but here's where the awful truth of this game is revealed. It is some grade A bullshit, absolutely. Oh, Arthur, I'm so glad you came to help me. But not even you, wish the text was a little bit faster, can defeat that fiend Sardius without the goddess bracelet. Here's where the biggest bullshit of all happens. I once wore the bracelet 
and that's why I was attacked and captured, come on, by the demons. Princess is in another castle. Pr practically, yes, Crypto. I barely managed to hide it on the way here. Please, Arthur, come back here with the bracelet and release me. You are my only hope. Okay, so you know what you do now? The game starts over at level one again. Now you have to find the goddess bracelet. And it's in a treasure chest after you pick up the gold armor. Then you can, once you have the goddess bracelet, then you can beat the, you have to fight those guys again. And then you can fight the true last boss. So now we have to go all the way back through the game once again. Except this time it's a little bit harder. Yeah, we did keep the crossbow. So, honestly, you can get the goddess bracelet any time now. What I, what I did last time, I waited because a friend of mine that knows more about this game, I told him I was going to stream it, and he was like, okay, this is very important. You have to know this. Do not get the goddess bracelet until you get back to the last level, or you will regret it severely because it's not a very good weapon. It doesn't track to things. You can only fire one shot at a time, and it's kind of it's sucky. So, now we have to go all the way back through the game. Hopefully, I'll have enough continues by the time I get to the end to get a lot of attempts in on the end. Because the fight we just finished there is not that difficult when you've got the crossbow. But I have to beat him this time with the goddess bracelet, which is a piece of shit. That's where I got to last time when I played through this game. Okay, see, here's the gold armor. All the, all it does, you can cast magic spells, but all this does is show you where all the treasure chests on the screen are. So, it's fairly useless for spells. But for other, uh, you, and you can only cast spells when you've got the gold armor on. So, if you've got other weapons, I mean, you can do some cool stuff. But the other weapons suck, so it's kind of self-defeating. Alright, this is really awful, because I don't want to pick that up, but it's kind of in the way. I didn't pick it up or, or get hit. That was really lucky. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get back there. Why would she give you a terrible weapon? It's a joke weapon. It basically is a joke weapon, Crypto. It does a lot of damage compared to the crossbow, but it's very awkward to aim it. It fires one shot with very limited range, and it sucks. I hate it. And we're not even going to get it until we get back to the last stage. That's probably it right there in the chest, but I do not want it. So we're going to keep the crossbow for the rest of the game until the final level. Then you have to do the last level with the crossbow, and it's a hundred times harder. Or I could get it now and just go fetal position in absolute misery, and we're not going to do that. we we'll try another playthrough of this game one day where I do pick up the bracelet at this point and try and beat the game with it. That, that would be absurd. Alright, we need all the uh, money bags we can pick up because you get enough, you get another continue, and we're going to need every last one we can get our hands on for the final level. Which means limiting deaths. Come on, man. Got stuck. Remember the stage, one of the hardest stages in the game. I can never get past it. Yep. <laughs> it's true. Why well, the night now looks like Blanca from Street Fighter with the gr- Ah! <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Yeah, with the green armor, he, he does look just like Blanca. That's kind of funny. All right. Back through the first level without dying. We got a long way to go. 
This game is really fun to watch. It's the difficulty is just very high. Yeah, I was overlapping the beak right there. Totally. I can't believe I didn't take a hit there. All right, we need to get the powered up armor back so I can have the tracking shots. There's other uh, Ghost and Goblins games too, and we're gonna get to them. There's one on Sega Genesis, there's one on Sega Master System, there's one on the original N Nintendo. There's a new one that just came out on Switch, so there's plenty of these types of games to play through. They all play through pretty much the same way. They're, and they're designed to be very difficult on purpose. That's kind of like the genre of this type of game. Cool. All right, well, we are on the second playthrough, so th there is hope, but the last level is where all the difficulty is gonna lie at this point. So, I, I gotta get there without dying too much. We need continues, we need lives. I didn't think the pendulum would swing that far. I really didn't. Alright, let's keep going. Not even gonna try and get that money back. Uh, maybe I should have gone for it if I was gonna die anyway right there. Alright, there goes another continue. We've got eight continues though. See, I'm, I'm slowly building them up by picking up a lot of money bags. As long as you don't die too much, you can actually gain continues, but if you get stuck, you're gonna lose everything. Dark Souls of SNES, that is exactly right. This game would be the closest to Dark Souls by far. Hey, Force says water being instant death was never a good idea. I agree, yes, I agree completely. And the water moves up on this stage, too, so if, if you don't move with it, it's just an instant death. I was just hoping against hope not to get hit right there, because if I jumped, the pendulum would have gotten me. Alright, this time I'm getting there with, with armor, so this might make a difference here. not. If you linger around this spot too long, the, the ghosts just overwhelm you. It's best just to keep moving. I think I learned that on the last stream. I was trying to fight everything. And it did not go well. Okay, we're back to this part. Not a fan of this part at all. Imagine taking a shower of the dying as soon as water first drops hits you. Yeah, in this game, that's how it works. <laughs> That's exactly what's going on with this. Yeah, no more showering. I'd be dead every day. I'll, the last thing I do right before I start the stream every day is get in the shower, so <laughs> that would be a bit ominous. Alright, we really need treasure chests here because I need to upgrade the armor to deal with this boss. Because this boss is really tough if you don't have the upgraded armor. Yeah, well there's the steel armor. I can get that back. I really don't want to pick that weapon up. Just what I had in mind. Look at this. Okay, you guys wanted to see some of the other weapons? Okay, now you get to. Look at this useless piece of shit. You can only fire one at a time on the screen. That's really gonna help me. Now I gotta hope to get something else. Come on, we gotta find some treasure chests or this is gonna be over really quick. And it doesn't really do much more damage than the, the crossbow. Alright, there's an axe. Let's take that. Let's see what it does. 
Wow, that's awesome. One at a time. At least it's a little easier to hit stuff with this than the, than the sickle was. Still not... My stream Andy said I look different than I thought he would. <laughs> and he thought I would, yeah. I, d I don't know. That's a... Pug looks honestly pretty similar to what I was kind of picturing, honestly. It's, it's kind of hard to tell when you've only heard someone's voice, but you've never actually seen them before, but... That's kind of weird. Water splashed on my foot, yeah. <laughs> we gotta get the crossbow back. I don't want this piece of junk. Okay, I'll take the knife. The knife, you can throw three at a time on the screen, so that's a, a definite upgrade. I really want my crossbow back, but this will have to do. This is like the second best weapon. At least I can defend myself reasonably well with this. Like I said, the, the game designers in this game were on crack when they balanced the weapons. Look how much better this is. Oh, no! Oh, my God, no! Oh, God, no! Keep it away. <laughs> and that's not even the worst weapon. Pray to God I don't pick up that tri triple-bladed sword thing, because that's the stupidest weapon in video game history. I want my crossbow back. The power bracelet's even weaker than the dagger. Actually, it's not. It's actually the strongest weapon in the game as far as damage, but the bracelet only fires one shot at a time, and it's got very limited range. So you have to be right on top of stuff to do any damage with it. Which in this game, you really don't want to do that. Definitely need range here. Coyote, thank you for the cheer. I appreciate that very much. That'll be some good luck bits. Alright, we just got the powered up armor. Now the dagger is at full strength. Dagger is basically like a laser cannon now. Appreciate that very much. You doing some art, Coyote? I'd like to see more of your art. I love original artworks. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, I got so lucky to survive that. This game creates the biggest panic moments ever. Somehow I like bounced back onto the raft by taking a hit. That was incredible. Made a pyro gif and posted it on Twitter. Okay, nice. I'll have to check Twitter later. I survived a dive in the water. Yeah. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. I'm not going to lie. All right, we got to beat this guy. This is going to be harder with this weapon. Now, you know what you get to do now? You get to start the whole water part over again. Happy fun times this is. And it's so slow because you can't speed the raft up any. Now we gotta do all that over again. So the only positive is I'll get to open some more treasure chests and hopefully get the crossbow back. So the treasure chests are hidden. They're always in the same spot, but I'm... Ah! Oh, there it is! Yes! We're back in business. And we got the powered up armor with the tracking shots. Okay, now now do you guys see what I'm saying about the balance of the weapons in this game? 
The crossbow is way too good, and everything else is way too sucky. So, uh, what about that stream in the future? Super Ghouls and Ghosts, no crossbow run. Why would I even subject myself to that? Coyote, thank you for subscribing very much. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. News tomorrow will be like man who hates water experienced bath for the first time in two seconds and then he was dead, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Coyote. I appreciate that. Strange they gave the crossbow tracking. I know, it's too good. It, it's good without the tracking. All right, if I pick that axe up, I'm not even going to get near that money bag because I don't want to pick the axe up. Gotta have my emote. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The fail emote would be a great one for this for this game. I don't know. I, I'm I I don't know if I'm gonna finish this or not. I, I really don't know. I'm I, if I had to guess, guys, I'd say there's about maybe about a thirty to thirty-five percent chance that I'm gonna be able to finish the game. That would be my best guess on finishing them. I think this is going to be the gold armor, but it's not going to really do anything for us. It looks good, but that's about it. I'll have to make a chaos emote. Yeah, I want to see that when you do that. And uh, the person coyote that you that uh, you commissioned for your artwork, they did your new VTuber model, right? Because that looks really cool. When I turned your stream on yesterday to jump in it, and I saw that, I was like, holy crap, the model's different. It looks cool. You're happy Coyote sub, but you don't want me to sub. Andy, no, I would love for you to sub, but I'm just saying, it's not required. My content will never be required for subbing or seeing anything. I appreciate it a lot, but, I mean, it's never going to be required for anything. No treasure chests are hidden here. Speaking of moat, still waiting for Jump King Mosquito looking a moat. We need that, Joshi. We really do. Jump King was a big part of this stream for a long time. It really was. The armor should really take, let you take more hits. It's, but yeah, the gold armor, I think, should take like two hits to bring down. Since it's not exactly super easy to get it. Alright, this time I have a tracking shot ready for this guy. We gotta be very careful. His shots come very quickly. And dead. See, it's it's too it's the game's playable when you have this weapon. When you don't have this weapon, the game's impossible. Actually, my VTuber model was a gift for myself for my birthday. I found them on Oh, okay. On Fiverr, okay. That's where it came from. Well, that's a really great birthday present, because that's awesome. Really like that a lot. I thought about actually doing VTubing myself before I started streaming, because I found one with the Team Fortress 2 Scout. I was like, you know, that might be okay, but... Alright, well, I got turned into a girl. Look at me go, yay. <laughs> if the magician hits you with a spell, that's what it does. You're basically helpless for a few seconds, since you, don't, you can't use your weapon. Oh, no, I don't want to pick the bracelet up. That's it. No, we don't want it. Nope, not getting it. Important story item needed to finish the game. I'm skipping it. You can get it again, I'm just saying. But the way the game hypes it up like it's some awesome weapon when it's actually a piece of trash... All right, let's. We gotta start op opening chests to try and get the uh, armor back. Oh, and it's a magician. Perfect. All right, is there a chest here? Chest can show up. You just have to touch a spot on the screen to get chest to up. Ah!
All right, let's get the fire bear before he closes in on me. And we got him. The guy's talking about sex change. <laughs> yeah, that's what that was. <laughs> oh, Five Nights at Freddy's model being made for when I play spooky stuff. My main model is my favorite. That That's scary to even imagine. <laughs> yeah, and landing in the water... I mean, landing in the lava only lets you take one hit point of damage. So it's not instant death like the water on the other stage was. I know, I know that's super weird, but I did not make this game. <laughs> Alright, so we've got some platforming here to deal with. Okay, I think this part is the checkpoint, so I want to make sure I run far enough to the right to get it. I'm not even going to attack this guy. I just want the checkpoint. I think you get it by going right here. Alright, if you want to kill me now, you son of a bitch, you can do it. I'm at the checkpoint. Yeah, you, you just enjoy that, man. You just enjoy that. Yeah, lava's not instant death in this game, believe it or not, but the water is. <laughs> it's that something. Coyote, I'll have to check out that Five Nights at Freddy's model. I'm going to have to check that out. A lot of you guys have talked good about that game. Maybe we will stream it sometime. But if I die on stream and like have a heart attack, well, it's, it's been nice knowing you guys. So know that that is a possibility. I, I don't deal well with jump scares, but maybe it would make for a fun stream. Just I'll, I'll risk it. <laughs> I'll take the plunge. Andy wants to see me get a heart attack. I appreciate it, man. I really appreciate that. What a friendly thing to say. <laughs> no, no weapons. No weapons. We are just fine with the crossbow. The biggest threat in this game is picking up a bad weapon. <laughs> These red zoo bats out of here, man. All right, we're picking up more, uh, don't let that be, okay. I was about to say, if that's a weapon and it lands on this platform with me, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to rage game Friday Nights of Freddy's Ultimate Custom Night, but I highly recommend trying the first game. Y yeah, uh, if it's a rage game, I, I might be all in on it. After we did Jump King, like, the sky is practically the limit here. <laughs> I really don't like this goblin part. Okay. Haven't died a whole lot so far on the second loop through the game. Wait, we're gonna need everything we can get. Oh no, no, no. We don't want the torch. That's one of the worst weapons in the game. Don't want it. Pick that up, and that's just points. All right, back to the boss. Make sure to try getting over it. That's going to happen, St. Joe's, and one day it's going to happen. Play Friday nights at Friday's one a little tip. Weird moan is the last thing you hear before you die. Well, that doesn't... Okay, so that's going to be like the moment my heart stops beating when I hear that part, right? Imagine Mixer against 2020 mode. If it's something hardcore, I'm willing to try it. It happened again. I'm supposed to be in the middle of this worm thing, not over here. Okay, now I can't even hit it. Now it's going to attack me and I'm probably going to die. Alright, I didn't die. Alright, let's melt its face right here. Gonna die or what? Whoa!
cool. Now we get to do this again. More Zubats. Okay, so now we know the rocks can come from the, the left side. I was not expecting that to happen. Yeah, homing rocks. That was that was totally fair right there. You can't beat it, you gave up. I'll have to look that up then, Coyote, because I'm kind of intrigued by that. When I hear hard game, i got to at least look into it and give it a fair shot. I had this one as a kid. That's why I wanted to come back and try and do something with it, because I never got far at all in this game as a kid. Even on putting it on easy, I didn't get anywhere. Now we're playing on professional. All right, not pick that up. Oh, the, if the bat had hit me, it would have pushed me into the axe, and I, then the, we would have been in a lot of trouble because I would have had to try and get a new weapon. Okay, Mixer, I'll send you a clip of how all animatronics act on 20 difficulty and custom night. I'll try to find a clip from Markiplier. I think he did in one video. Okay. It'll be on video, and it'll probably still scare me. I saw a jump scare movie back in like 1998 with my girlfriend in high school. I've, I've not been keen on doing any more jump scare stuff since. Okay, we do want the armor. Sometimes you get a random weapon from those like little basket drops and I don't want to accidentally pick one up. At least there's been some uh, money bags to pick up on this level, so I, I probably picked up another continue or two. I don't need the gold armor, we're just gonna go. The pattern looks random on the goblins. Last time they didn't drop from above that far. Come on, man, give me a break. Shit. That is not what happened last time. They were all dropping from like the same spot. Make sure try Ghost Town Man versus Machine. Artist Man versus um, uh, man versus machine. Man versus machine. Sorry, I always get that mixed up because I've never played it. Sorry about that. Honestly, I have CPTSD and severe anxiety. I love Friday nights at Freddy's, except VR. I had a panic attack in the corn maze because I could feel myself being hunted. That is frightening to even think about, Coyote. That is frightening to, for me even thinking about it right now. There's another game that's like a being hunted game. It's like the movie Alien with Sigourney Weaver. There's one of those games where you're in a spaceship and the alien is hunting you. And I was reading about that and I was like, yeah, no chance I'm playing this. But it got recommended to me in my like Steam folders and my like Steam settings somehow. And I was like, yeah, why is this being recommended to me? I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love that, but I'm not one of them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This looks bad. Ah! Like, one pixel of the bat's wing hit my foot. Right there. I'm, gu I'm guessing that's what happened. Like, one pixel touched me. Okay, so now we have to make sure we don't get anywhere near the bats. God, that was awful. Ugh. Yeah, the Alien game. No chance I'm playing that. I like the movie, the Alien movies back from the 80s and 90s and stuff. I like those, but I don't really want to play a character that's like being hunted by one. I don't think I want that. Yeah, this, this is definitely Zubat. <laughs> He's really overpowered. W wasn't the original Zubats in Pokemon Blue, I think? Could be wrong. 
I think Brock had one in like the original season of Pokemon. I could be wrong. Can't believe they didn't hit me right there. Trying to outrun it, that's probably not gonna work. You know, a more standard weapon would actually maybe make this level a little easier since they're coming at me like straight ahead. I'm not gonna change weapons though. I want duck season in VR, I want some good thriller. I'll have to look that up too. Duck season. I don't have any kind of VR stuff, but I, w I would be interested in trying it. My, my dad even asked me, he was like, have you seen any of this VR stuff? It looks pretty cool these days. I'm like, nope, I have not tried any of that yet. I like the uh, the VR games that I've seen on Steam. I like the ones that like make you work out really heavily. Like you're like there's like rhythm games and you're like cutting blocks and stuff. Like you holding swords. That that looks really fun to me. No, no. I can't get past this part without taking a hit. And you know what's making it worse? I'm worried I'm going to pick a weapon up I don't want. That's adding anxiety here. Oh, yeah, one more guy just had to drop down. I got to deal with this fucking worm. Maybe Arthur is in a shed ninja in disguise? I, uh, apparently... This guy needs better armor. Zubat is honestly one of the best Pokemon to use in hardcore Pokemon, Nuzlocks. Yeah, I've heard about that, Coyote. It's like a hardcore way to play through the Pokemon games where, like, if a Pokemon goes down, like, you can't use it anymore. I've heard about that. That sounds very interesting. Beat Saber is a ton of fun. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Stick. Th those types of games. I would love to try that. I mean, I work out every day, so, like, something that's, like, really physical would be a lot of fun for me. Can I please beat this guy this time? All right, what's going to happen? He's launching them up, so they're going to fall. All right, let's do that again. So there's two attack patterns here. I, I actually did not even realize that until the other one happened. Get wrecked, stupid worm. All right. Ah. Uh, my Oculus Rift S. Let me know if you want it. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna have to read up more on it. I actually may b buy one for my dad too at one point. He seems to be like really wanting to try some of this VR stuff. Full body tracking with my Vive, so I'm upgrading. Okay, so they have. They do have full body tracking ones with the vibe. I, I see I know very little about this stuff, but I'm I wanna learn. That's a rhythm game where you cut blocks with the sword you're talking about. Okay, that's what I saw on Steam somewhere. I didn't remember the name of it, but thanks for bringing the name of that up, Stick, because I'll definitely get that if I ever get into VR. Any oh, oh no, we're not getting that. No. Okay, we gotta kill this guy without picking that crap up. Is that gonna be the armor? Yes. Oh, you, you gotta be kidding me. I can't pick that up, but this guy needs to die. Fine, I'll just skip him. Get easy. Mm! That happened last time. I'm in trouble. I'm in so much trouble right here. I need to kill this thing above me. You can't touch the back of the spikes. Bullshit. Joy Nuzlocke's, by the way, the rules make it so difficult. I gotta do that. I've played through, uh, like, the original Pokemon game on the Game Boy. That's, like, the only Pokemon game I've played. It, it's very standard to most, like, RPGs of the time. But I wouldn't mind, like, adding some new challenge to that kind of stuff. This guy's gonna die, right? Yeah, he's gonna die. 
Okay, you can't touch the back of the- Ah! Moaning Friday nights at Freddy's happens once you have doors open, you are on cameras, and animatronic is ready to take a bite out of your ass. Other than that, you don't get. You know what I'm gonna have to do with that is watch a video or two, see if I could even handle playing that game. I don't even know if I can. Nope, we're not getting that. Okay, the chest was like right. Yeah, there it is. Definitely watch the. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Look at that forgiving hitbox there, guys. Coyote, thanks for 25 bits. Appreciate that very much. Good luck, bits. Alright, this thing's shot me twice now. It's not gonna get me a third time. It's dead. Okay. I should have expected the spikes to hit me from behind. My first Pokemon game was red when it released. Re Speaking of Pokemon Red, <laughs> I think I've got it sitting right over here. Here it is. I found it. Good old po whoop. All right, let's see. Good old Pokemon Red right there. The first Pokemon game I ever played. And here's the, my original Game Boy from when I was a kid. A lot of people would tell me I hoard junk. And guess what? It's not junk. It's great stuff. It's old school. I'll explain everything before you start if you'll ever stream it. I'll think about it, Max. I don't know. You remember how the Friday Night's 4 looked like Markiplier. Okay, so the first night is never usually that bad in any of these games, so I'm just going to play. Drop. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> Total jelly. My ex broke my red. I, I, I've kept literally everything since I was a kid. Literally everything. Let's see what I've got sitting over here. I've, here is Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness. That is from the mid-90s. Here's Warcraft 2 Beyond the Dark Portal expansion set, also from the 90s. I don't even know why I have these CDs anymore. I can't even put a CD in my computer. I have no idea why. Got all kinds of old stuff here. Here's Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. I really like those games, by the way. You have, my, you have your original Game Boy somewhere. Those original Game Boys are awesome. I love them. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping all this stuff. I'm keeping all this stuff. The console, your own review on Discord. I don't know about that, St. Joe's, and I think like every person in the world has already done that. I, I really think... <laughs> I don't think that would be any kind of new content. I don't even have that many, like, as far as old consoles. I've got the original Nintendo that mine doesn't even work anymore. I've got Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo... The old Game Boy, Sega Game Gear, Sega Master System, Neo Geo, uh, Nintendo 64, and PlayStation 2. Those are the ones I have. And I've got Switch, but I, I don't literally have any of the others. And those have all been, like, talked about to death. Would you keep from your childhood? Yes, absolutely, Max. That's my answer. My answer is yes. What else is sitting around here? Here's Diablo 2. This is a great game. I love this one. And do we have any other interesting CD games sitting over here? I've got a giant pile of them that I was going with. These are all video games. Warcraft 3. Mansion, Master of Magic, FIFA Soccer 2001. This was one of my favorites. World of Warcraft, Populous 2, all kinds of stuff, man. Take me forever to go through all that crap. You're buying an N64 because you want to wreck your kids in Mario Kart. I love it. Perfect. I love Mario Kart 64. We're going to stream that one day. 150cc, of course. Good old Mario Kart. It doesn't get much better than that. I'm going to take a hit here. 
No, I'm not. Oh, we gotta do this bullshit again. I hate this. Oregon Trail on the school computers. I kill to have that game. I did play that at school as well. I really liked it. A lot of RNG. Oh, I can't fire anything because the tracking shot's still on the screen. And now I'm gonna die. Poor shit. All right, well, how do you get through this level? You stay at the front. No, 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 no. I I'm gonna die again. You okay, I'll take a hit. <laughs> That's fine. Just don't kill me. This level sucks. I don't like it. We still got a lot of continues, guys. We need everything we can get for the final battle. I don't even know what the last boss looks like. I can't even get to him. You have to have the goddess bracelet and beat the two demon guys at the end to even get to him. I don't know what kind of fight that's going to be. I just want more continues so I can try it a million times. Oregon Trail was fun. I'd always try to drown the entire family in a river. <laughs> that's not what you're supposed It's speed run it, making five minutes, but everyone died. <laughs> you gotta love th those types of games. The, like for the the time period, those were incredible. I think I screwed it up again. Nope, somehow I survived. All right. All right. These ledges apparently they disappear, so you have to keep moving. I don't even think I noticed that last time. Thankfully, we've got the crossbow. God, if we didn't have the crossbow, I guess I'd just turn the game off at this point. That's fine. I'm, I'm just happy to get through it. Alright, ledges are going to collapse. Be on the front. I guess I'm supposed to jump over this. I don't know. I didn't. This level is really discouraging. I have negative thoughts. Remember your mantra. You know, Crypt, isn't that from... Isn't that from Faxanadu? I did play that game as a kid, and I did finish it. I really liked it. <laughs> Losing continues on stupid shit. Gotta get through this. BS fall there. It will... Everything about this game is starting to turn into BS. Alright, if, you, if you're on the very front of this platform, you can go past that without taking a hit. I can't hit these because they're too low. Oh. That little blue monster is probably going to pop up out of nowhere and get me. And we got another challenge to do, guys. Super Ghouls and Ghosts Deathless Run. What do you guys think about that idea? I forgot it was going to disappear. I... Yeah, these modes... Mode 7... I think, yeah, they were just showing off the Mode 7 graphics with this part. They were like, look at this... Look at this fancy new game system, what it can do. Because this was one of the earlier games released on Super Nintendo. 
So all these fancy rotating effects were like brand new at the time when this game was released. And they wanted to show them off. So they, they created this hellhole of a level to do that. Got to jump over that. We got to jump over it and we're going to make it. Okay, we got to jump off this thing. I hate this level. I, n I don't want to see this level anymore. No! <laughs> this is driving me nuts, man. I hate this level. Forget the last boss. I can't even get through this. Just wondering why the hell does this guy need a crossbow when he's throwing arrows without using the crossbow anyways. You know what, Max? I bet they wanted to include the crossbow graphic, but this is such an old game that you run out of memory to include certain stuff, so they just had him throwing arrows. Most games just used it for zooming out and in. Yeah, Act Razor did that. That's another early game that used this Mode 7 type graphics. That was another really good game, Act Razor. Need to do a stream of that one day, too. It's a good one. It's got a professional mode, too, difficulty, so that'd be right up our alley. I've never finished it on professional mode, so that would be something new. Okay, that little blue guy is going to show up. In that time, he didn't even attack me. What the hell's wrong with this game? Oh, there he comes. Yeah, Act Razor was a wonderful game. All right, I got the armor. I've got the crossbow. Let's just destroy this guy so I don't have to do this level ever again the rest of my life. No, no, no! Okay. <laughs> this game, it's got like such slow movement, you can telegraph when you're about to be hit. <laughs> this is not what happened last time here. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh. That was weird. It didn't hit me, so I don't care. Bosses in this game just aren't that bad. It's just getting to them. Okay, let's see, this guy's down already. We're almost there, guys. We're not that far away. And then we may have a chance to actually finish this nightmare. Gotta go, may come back later. Okay, Max, that's fine, dude. Good luck with this sack of shit. I really, actually, I really like this game. I know I'm getting really frustrated and stuff, but this is actually a really fun game. This is also on the maximum difficulty. If you guys ever tried it, there are easier difficulties. Enemy, I think enemies are, there's less enemy. Oh, oh, what? Got killed by an ice bear. Did beat Act Razor though, so I imagine it's not terribly hard. Uh, the difficulty in Act Razor is not too bad when you like play through the standard game. The once you finish the game, it unlocks professional mode, and then you only have like three lives, I think, to do all the action stages of the game. So it, I think it gets that's significantly harder. I was never able to do that part. I only tried a couple of times, but that was like 25 years ago or something. Maybe we could try it on stream. All right, here's another good example, guys, of the crossbow being a great weapon. How would you hit these things without the crossbow? See, this ice bear is above me, but I can still hit him because I've got the crossbow. All right, I want this. I want the money bag. There we go. Like Jump King, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. 
This is way more fun, honestly, than Jump King. Jump King's just frustration. At least this, I can actually fight stuff along the way. Now, I'm not going to knock Jump King too terrible. It was fun to finish it, but it, it did severely piss me off sometimes. Alright, my back's like against the wall here. If I get hit by something, I'm going to die. It's going to push me off the cliff. Okay. Give me those money bags. We need every last one we can get our hands on. This ice bear dead. Alright, he's down. Alright, what happened here? It was like those ice snakes. Or yeah, this. Okay, that's not that bad. Alright, we have the undead knights here. I think they were in a previous game of this as well. We've got an arcade version of this to play through as well. I don't know how hard that one is. I only remember seeing it when I was like five years old. I'm sure it's hard. Jump King lacks enemies to take your rage out on. Yeah, the only thing I can take my rage out on was like th this plush Mario sitting in front of me. I think I, I threw him around a couple of times. This one right here. This poor Mario got launched several times while playing Jump King. Mixer, I have a question. What's your opinion of toxic man versus machine players? How they fell from the end to the start. I honestly don't know St. Josen because I've never played that mode before. So I'm not the person to comment on that. I have no idea. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm just trying to get to a checkpoint. I think it's right here. If the demon guy kills me, I don't care. That's fine. I got to the checkpoint. Oh, when they fall from the end to the start. I, I, can you do that? I don't know. Oh. If they fell from the top to, to the bottom. Well, how toxic are they? Considering I've, I've never played it. I'm, I'm guessing pretty bad. You and Pug were talking about... That, so I'm assuming they're not the greatest of people. <laughs> yeah, that poor Mario. He took a beating. <laughs> I feel bad for him. He didn't deserve it. <laughs> I honestly deserve it for playing terrible. How long have we been going so far? Hour and 55 minutes. Yeah, like I said, guys, this is a long game because you have to go through it twice. How about a treasure chest, please? I'm kind of worried about this boss coming up. I would like to have the powered up arrows to deal with them. Probably not going to happen. No, 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 no. Okay. Ugh! The wolf got me. And then the snow got me. We can't afford to lose lives on this level. I need everything I can get for the harder levels. The next one coming up is the one with the, the three or four demon fights. And I know I'm going to die some on it. It would help so much if I could figure out where another chest was. That was pretty close right there. Oh, can I just shoot this guy through the floor? That'd be great. Got him, alright. Alright, let's let the avalanche go. The ice bear. The ice bear is no threat. Those wolves are quick. You gotta be ready for them. There's just one right up here. Yep, there he is. I shot him off screen. Cheating. Deathless run of this must be hell. I bet someone's done it, Crypto. 
I bet someone out there's done it. I'm, my first assumption with all these extremely hard games is someone out there is beating it blindfolded while suspended from the ceiling or something impossible. I just can't get past that without taking a hit. We'll just have to beat the boss one shot. Yeah, I bet someone out there has done a deathless run of this. I would not be surprised. That's not gonna hit me, is it? Okay, no, it's not. This guy's attack patterns are random. Sometimes he uses his claws, sometimes he uses that ice attack thing. Can't judge it. Guessing the ice attack thing does the same damage as the claws do, like everything else in this game. Level down. Swabby, what's up, dude? Hope you're having a good day. We're working our way through a very difficult game. Don't know what the outcome's yet gonna be. We're nearing the end, though. Having a really good Thursday. Thankfully, I'm able to stream again. My internet cooperated. No, we don't want that. That's the worst weapon in the game. Hell no. All right, so we got to deal with these guys. We dealt with them last time. We can deal with them again. Yes. Now, I think I need to beat the other guy, and then it'll let me pick the, the treasure chest up, and I can get the homing shots. Going to eat hot dogs. All right. Hot dogs are great. Wish I could still eat them. Where is this guy at? Alright, seems to be a good spot to hit him right here. I'm landing some hits. No, don't be above me. Nothing dodges better in a video game besides this guy. All right, get wrecked. I don't have to work today, so I can watch the end of the stream. That's awesome. Yes, and it's nice to be streaming again and not doing work right now. That's all. Uh, the streaming days are always great days because that means there's less work to do. All right, there's one more of these demons to deal with. I have tracking shots now, so I'm just going to stand right here and hope they get him. They got him. Okay. God. That was too close, man. Okay. Let's get this. I think this is going to be like the, the gold. Yeah. We're so close to the end, guys. I should be able to knock this guy out without too much trouble. You have the crossbow. Dead. Okay. Oh my god, I one shot at that. Alright, so this is where we have to get the goddess bracelet. I can't use the crossbow anymore. I have to get the stupid weapon I can't stand, because if you don't get it, you can't you can't go to the end. That's not it. Okay. It's gonna be in one of these chests. And if I don't pick it up before the end of the level, I'm actually gonna have to get myself killed so I can get it. I don't even know what happens if you try and go to the end without it. 
not gonna find out. Probably just kills you anyway or something. Yeah, we, we did. I think you need the bracelet before the end of this level's boss. So we we have to get it on this stage. I think I did that when I played through last time, but I ran out of lives trying to beat the end. So we definitely have to get the bracelet now. You can't connect your Wi-Fi to PC. There's nothing worse than Wi-Fi issues and internet problems, Ren. Nothing. <laughs> All right, where's the chest? Go ahead and knock this guy out. I need the bracelet. There it is. Alright, so this is what this weapon does, guys. It doesn't track anything, and you can only fire one shot, and the range gets even worse when you have the weaker armor. So this is what we're going to be working with now. I think, it, yeah, it does also block shots. But it does a lot of damage when it hits stuff, so... Alright. Last time I had success just rushing this part without attacking. I'm gonna try that again. That worked so well, if I'd only known about that last playthrough. I was just guessing maybe you can do that. Okay, this is it. We gotta beat these guys with the bracelet. And you have to be really careful now. If I take a hit, it weakens the strength of the bracelet. Anticipating the laser because that got me a lot last time. The hitbox, you have to hit him directly in the face or it doesn't count. Is that hitting him? Yeah, I think it did. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. You can't control yourself in the air. Alright, this is going well. Going well. Oh, the clock's a problem. I forgot about the clock. That's ticking down. I can't waste too much time. Oh! Alright, back to the beginning. But this time I have this piece of crap to work with. Oh, we can't get another weapon. I shouldn't have opened that chest. And now we don't have the freaking crossbow. So now I have to fight these guys without it. Yeah, see, now you have to actually play the game the hard way. You have to actually aim this piece of crap instead of letting the crossbow do everything for you. Now I have to fight this demon dude up here. Without the crossbow, that's going to be so much fun. Oh boy. Steamy, what's up, man? Had over a minute left, seemed to be enough time. Yeah, it's possible. All right, here we go. How do you even fight this guy with this? I don't know. That question has not been answered. I want my crossbow back, but I can't use it because we, we have to use this piece of junk now. 
How many more continues do we have? Seven. We've got a lot of attempts at this, guys. There's a good chance. I'm going to open that after I kill stuff, so I don't accidentally pick up a stupid weapon again. There we go. Now we can open it. Oh, I want it so badly, but I can't pick it up. Not going to happen. We have to use this. Oh, this attempt's lost. You have to get there without getting hit. This is a lost cause here. Because you can't, Steamy, you cannot finish the game unless you're using this weapon. You have to have this weapon at this point. You actually have to play through this game twice. So I've already been here through this stage once, but I was able to use the crossbow, and that made it a hundred times easier. Now I have to use this weak piece of crap. It looks cool, but that's about all it does. Yeah, the, the, the damage is not good on this weapon either. It's just not a very good weapon. It just kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, I'm going to beat this guy with no armor. Where's the chest? You guys see that? I just annihilated the guy wasn't even close. But I can't do that again. Alright, now I don't have any armor, though. We just gotta get there without taking a hit. Yeah, I, that's never gonna happen again, Crypto. Ever. Can't pick the crossbow up. I'd love to get it, but we can't do that at this point in the game. Don't you hit me. You do it. All right. Boy, this weapon just utter trash. You know what what I was honestly hoping would happen? I was hoping to actually one shot this whole level because I had the crossbow for part of it the first time and I was hoping, you know what, if I beat it I won't have to go through this part with the bracelet. But now we have to do it like this. Not risking getting hit by that guy. We're on spring break now. Very nice. Yeah, you can't... Unfortunately, Crypto, you cannot do that because the bracelet only shows up after you pick up the gold armor. So it'll be in a certain chest if you ha get there with the gold armor. Alright, what did I do last time to... It hit him. Alright, well, I got no armor. Oh, well, I beat him, but once again, no armor. Oh, there's armor, but I'm, it's not powered up, though, so I got the crappy version. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Spring break's almost over. Boy, it was fun back in the day, spring break. Just getting a, just getting a week off from school was everything I could have ever asked for. I usually did nothing on spring break because soccer season's going on at that time. So I just kind of just chilled at home and 
enjoyed not having to go to practice for a week. That was my spring break every year when I was in school. Okay, let's, we gotta open all the chests because I need the powered up version. Alright, doing some damage to this guy. Dead, okay. That little blue guy has to die. He does as much damage as anything else in this game does. Or did he just leave the screen? That's even better. I love that. Two weeks off from Holy Week and Spring Break. Are you going back to regular classes soon, Andy? I think you said something similar to that earlier. There's the chest, okay. What if I leave it there and pick it up after if it hits me? Maybe I'll get to... Okay, now pick it up. Will it give me the green armor? Nope, it goes back to steel. God damn it, I thought I'd come up with an idea there. <laughs> I want the crossbow and I can't get it. What was that? A trap? I've never even seen that before. Alright, well the bird just got annihilated. I like that. Come on, die. Okay. Get a week. Well, that's what most people get, Ren. Most people just get one week for spring break. That's how it was for me. Alright, I'm just going to skip this part. I think there's a chest down there I remember from the last time I played this game, but I'm not going to risk getting it because I'll just die. Alright, so we got to do this. We got to do this without the powered up armor. It's going to be probably impossible, but I'm going to try. I don't even know how many hits it is. A lot. If I had the powered up armor, I... I've got to get there with the powered up armor. I've just got to get there. This is hellish, man. All right, if those little guys just want to leave, that would be really nice. Get another weapon at this point. Not like I want that piece of junk anyway. I'm as intimidated by that demon guy coming up here at the top of the steps, at the top of the ladder, as much as I am from the boss over there. Powered up armor, it gives you more range and damage on this. It doesn't protect you any better. Alright, let's get him. Alright, he does kind of like... Do oh my god, he's dead! And I didn't take a hit. Don't want that. For God's sake, we don't want that. That's what we want, okay. 
I need that. No, Andy, you saw what happened when when I got that. You saw it. I think you have to kill both of them. Or the wall doesn't let me through. Come on. I don't have the gold armor, but I mean, this will something. shot. It's sad, man. It's just sad. Can't do any better than that. Can't do any better than that. I don't have the range I need to hit them consistently with this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you have to hit him in the head. The hitbox on his head is very small. That stupid little demon just like popped out of nowhere and almost got me. That tiny little blue guy almost just screwed me over right there. God, they move randomly. got a lot of a continues still to work with on this level so we'll probably be here for a while but and by the way once you kill that guy that I'm fighting over there you have to fight a green version of him too so I mean there's two bosses to fight right there not just one I mean, M's 48 years old he still looks 20 I've not seen what he looks like in like 20 years Come after me. These guys have no pattern. Try and draw them back up here. Costing me time. Don't get stuck in the floor again. That was stupid one. Bitch. Yet because of these birds. Left a chest. Yeah, I don't need it at this point. You just need the armor. It's, it wouldn't be anything but a weapon at this point. Gold armor lets you cast spells if you have other weapons, which at this point you're not using any other weapons. So basically at this point, well, uh, the green armor and the... Uh, Gold armor make your weapon stronger, but if you get hit, you still go back to no armor. All right, here we go. Let's get them.
Sorry if I'm not saying anything. I'm just trying to concentrate, like, extremely hard here. How many hits? This is absurd. God! Come on, man! Yes! Alright, one more. Mind. Hide. Oh shit, the time's running out. Dude, you gotta be kidding me! That <laughs> yeah, that is the best armor. That is absurd, man. How many hits? That is unfreaking believable. Every second here counts. I can't screw around. I got I gotta go. I couldn't hit the little guy. I couldn't hit him again. I, I can't believe that, man. Fuck you. Still got more continues. That little guy doesn't die, he's just gonna come back and hit me. Alright, we can open the chest now. How many chests you open determines what I what like when you get the armor. Like the second chest you open if you're wearing the steel armor gets you the green armor, and then the next one you open after that gets you the gold armor. Alright, Ren, I'll catch you later, man. You it does sound like you need to go to bed. Netherin armor. I wish anything would be an upgrade at this point. 
All right, man. I'll catch you later. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Appreciate it very much. Have a good night. Guys, patterns are just different every time. Andy's dead. Holy crap, we got a shot. Okay, now we'll get the gold armor. Alright, we need to kill the birds quickly. And then we gotta fight more quickly against the guys at the end. The freaking time limit of all things got me. I thought I was going to beat him last time, too. Alright, birds are down. We got to move, man. Now I'm going to be all panicky because of the time limit. I thought I was really doing well last time. I did learn you could go past that part if you just move quickly. Last stream I did in this game, I got stuck at that part. Be fast but not reckless. Yeah, that's going to be hard to do. Got to put more damage on them quickly. It's practically going to take like a, a perfect run to do this. Okay. okay, I got two minutes to deal with this guy. That was clutch dodge right there. Okay, I've, I've done a lot of damage already. Can't buy that now, okay. Please die. Hits. This is absurd. Oh! Yeah! Oh my god, I've never seen them past this. What's... I don't know... Holy crap, this has got to be the end. All right, what do you do here? Okay, that's not appearing to do any damage. Yeah, I don't even know how to hit this guy. Can't hit him in the stomach. Can't hit him in the legs. Gotta hit him in the head. Okay, I'm assuming maybe I'm supposed to jump on those legs. Oh, okay, you, I, that didn't hurt me touching him. Yeah, we're gonna have to get on those platforms. That's gonna be hard to do if there's lasers flying at the same time. Oh, okay, I can walk in front of him. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, I hit him, I think. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Oh. 
Get on those silver plates and hit them in the head. All right. Oh, crap. The timing was terrible there. It wasn't terrible last time. I need to watch and see when the lasers are going to come out. Okay. Holy crap, man. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous right now. If I die, if I, am I going to go all the way back? Time limit's fine. I got three minutes. I'm scared to death right here, man. Oh, my God. Oh, how far back am I? How far back? Do, do I start at him? I think I start at him. Oh, my God. I started him. Jesus Christ. That scared the living hell out of me, man. All right. We can figure this out. All right. If I jump on it there, I'm going to take a hit. Get on the second come around. Okay. Yeah. Mm, okay, I right, gotta get the timing. Yeah, the game is showing mercy. I did not expect to start back here. All right, we're up there. Okay, I'm seeing the... It's like making an impact hit, so I'm assuming we're doing damage. It's gotta do this. All right, I didn't like the timing there. We'll just let it go. I'm, I'm, I wonder how much hit point this guy has. All right, that was like four hits. Oh, I was on it! I was on it! God damn it. Come on. I'm not getting on it there. I just would have gotten hit there. There's no way. All right, if this is all you do, this isn't that bad. I can, I can dodge those lasers. This guy's probably got a second form or something, if this is all that's going to happen here. I'm expecting something else to happen. I'm doing damage here. Alright, this is going to work if I can keep this pattern up. Get up there! Yeah, I'm, ex I'm totally expecting a second phase, so I really don't need to take any damage here. And the time limit's probably going to be an issue. Nope, not jumping on him there. Get up! Yes! Oh, he's got a lot of hit points. Nope, can't do it there. we got a decent pattern going. I'm not going to mess it up. That doesn't look good. No thanks. Wait for a clear opening. Ah, <laughs> Man, that's bad. I, I landed a couple more hits. Okay. All right, second phase. Is that it? Is it... Oh my... Is it really over? No way! No way, man. No one ever imagined that the princess's bracelet was such a powerful magical weapon. Dude, that weapon sucks. Don't even go there. Even the princess didn't know about it. As thought it was ordinary jewelry, unaware of its magical properties. She only learned the true power of the bracelet captured by the demon. And... What is all this talk about this bracelet? I didn't like that weapon. Barely hit it in time. <laughs> yeah, re really, Crypto, really. Barely hit in time. Finally, with the help of the bracelet, Arthur defeated the demons. 
will never arise to menace peace loving people again. Yes, they will, because there's a sequel to this, and it's on Nintendo Switch right now. Holy crap! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. My heart is like beating 90 miles an hour right now. I did not expect that to happen. You know what, guys? Though, honestly, the last guy was not that difficult. It's getting to him that was the hard part. That final battle with those two big guys in the hallway where you have to fight them with the bracelet, that was the hardest fight in the game by far. By far. That last guy was not difficult. I just needed to see the pattern a couple of times, and that was it. All right, so that, that's Super Ghouls and Ghosts on professional difficulty. That's as hard as this game gets. Holy crap. Just getting there was everything in this game. Is it going to show me every enemy now? That's kind of cool. <sighs> That was the max difficulty for this game, so, uh, I guess I could try it again one day with, like, using that kind of weapon right there, like he's using here in the demo. Not use the crossbow. See if we can do a crossbowless run of this game. I think that might be kind of fun. You have to create challenges with these old games, because there's only so much you can do with them. Well, I know one thing, guys. That's one part of my childhood that has finally been avenged because I had this game when I was like 10, year, 10 11 years old, and I thought it was impossible. I, could, I got past the first stage like one time, and then the second part with the ship, I couldn't get past that, and I was like, there's no way. This game's impossible. No way. Why do I insist on torturing myself like that? Because it's fun coming up with new challenges. So, so we definitely got to try this game again one day with without the crossbow. I, I'm sure it'll be significantly harder. Because See, he's fighting. He's trying to fight these guys with the lance. That weapon's terrible as well. It's kind of fun to suffer in a way with these kind of games. These games are super nostalgic to me. What's this guy's name anyway? Neveroth? That's cool. That sounds awful. Yeah, it does sound awful. It really does. But I'm, I'm kind of tempted to try it. The NES game is harder in your opinion. I haven't played through it yet either. That's going to be... Actually, we may play that pretty soon. Maybe next week. Maybe the original Ghost and Goblins will be next week on the original Nintendo. The difficulty of that is also extraordinarily high. I never got far with that as a kid either, and I would like to try it. And I think you have to play through that one twice as well. So it's going to be more the same. But it'll be a new game that I don't know. Yeah, just give it a go. Red Aramer Ace is the name of that guy I can't stand. The princess has got to be Guinevere because the knight is Arthur. Oh, or it could be Princess Prin Prin. I, I mean, that, that's also a possibility. <laughs> His Sardius was a weakling. Those other two guys were a significant threat, though. Princess Prin Prin is in another castle. I, for real, man. In the, in, uh, in Dill, thanks for following, man. Appreciate it very much. Wow. I, I am just amazed. I am super amazed here with this. It's a pretty cool ending, too. I wasn't expecting much from an ending of the older games. The, the reason to play these is for the journey, not the destination. I don't care if it even has an ending. I just like the challenge. And you did all that to clap some girls' cheeks. Well, if I was that knight, I probably would have done the same thing. 
It's a cute looking blue haired princess. I mean, come on. It doesn't get much better than that. That's that's awesome. <laughs> the hell's up with these names here? Planner Hyper Mickey. These are obviously joke names. Real challenge: beat the game as a girl. <laughs> I would if now if that was like a permanent debuff, I would actually try that. <laughs> I would actually try that. If that magician hits you, it like turns you into different stuff. So, if that was a thing, I would try it. Yeah, maybe in, in next time we play this Super Ghouls and Ghosts, we're gonna try it without the crossbow. Same difficulty, same lives, no crossbow. I'll probably try and get the knife or the lance or something like that. Maybe something I can work with. That was, that was pain. Armorless run. There's an idea. Nice. Armorless run. Just take a hit right at the beginning. And don't ever pick up any other armor. Armorless run. That's a good one. Need somebody to mod the game. Magician turns you back into Arthur. Now that would be a fun mod. Like where you play as maybe the princess and maybe she's got, got like slightly different abilities or anything. Someone good at modding could easily do that. The people today that mod these kind of games are really good at it. I, I wouldn't even, I'm not, I have no modding skills, but I'm sure there's tons of people out there that could do it. There might be a ROM hack out there for that. Yeah, there might be. I need to check some more ROM hacks. I really do. I really do. Just to see what's out there. Yeah, do it with the uh, torch run. Yeah, St. Joseph, that's also a good idea. Challenge of using the worst weapon. Get the torch. The torch is terrible. The torch flies. Like, literally, guys, this is the way the torch works. If this is the character, Arthur, the torch flies out like this. That's it. It's got about that much range, and then it like creates like a fire along the ground. But you can't throw it upward, so all the flying enemies, I don't know how you would deal with them. So the torch just is like a little launch shot like that. That would be horrifying to try. Yeah, see, look, this princess is hot, man. I would have gone through all that trouble, too, to get it. Dude, we went through Jump King to get princesses. Surely we can do this. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's, sorry about that, Andy. Yeah, I was reading, uh, yeah, St. Joseph said, uh, now highlight montage of dying in this game and a challenge of using the worst weapon. Yeah, so, yeah, we can use the torch. Or that stupid weapon, that tri-blade thing that, like, flies in a pattern like this. Kind of odd Arthur's armor doesn't fall off when the princel's pixels touch him. You know what? He's probably disappointed that it didn't work that way, honestly. It, that's what I think. He's probably disappointed his armor's still on. So let me run to the bathroom real quick, and I will be right back. I might put on the other, I might put on Ghost and Goblins for the Nintendo just to have a quick look at it, because I don't have that much more time to stream today, guys. I would like to have a quick look at that before the stream ends, because I'm like super curious. I don't have time to get into Geometry Dash today, Andy. I'd get to try like a few times and that'd be the end of it. You need at least an hour and 30 minutes to grind that game. The worst, worst weapon? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Well, it's good to go through some living hell itself to go th through some girl. Eh, it depends on the girl. Look at that one. I think I would do it. I'll be right back, guys.
All right. Oh my God, dude, that was that was a heck of a run. That was a heck of a run. In a way, Max, it kind of had infinite lives as long as you were picking up the money bags and not dying too much. Can't wait to see the NES version again so I can have nightmares. Yeah, we're going to put that on right now. I want to have a look at it. I'm super curious. I haven't literally seen it in like 20-something years. So let's put that on real quick so we can get kind of an idea of what we're going to be dealing with. Let's go ahead and close this down. I am playing this on an emulator. I own the real copy of this game, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just playing the games on an emulator. I don't have room to hook up all the old school systems. I do own them. I do have a game capture card. I just don't have the room or don't want to fiddle with setting all that stuff up. I'm just keeping it quick and simple here. All right, let's switch over to NES. We are not playing Castlevania Whip only. Let me fix that. I think I've got the box for Ghost and Goblin saved already. I can find it real quick on the internet. I have that. Come on. There it is. Okay. There it is. All right. Let me change the title of the screen. Looking at Ghost and Goblins for a future playthrough. I know very little about it. Isn't the game on title or report me and ban me? Well, the good thing is, is that I don't have to change the category. This is still retro. So let me get Ghost and Goblins. Find it for one thing. Here it is. All right, here we go. Good old Ghost and Goblins already bringing back some scary memories from when I did play this game. I do own the physical copy of this game as well. I've got it. It was on sale somewhere. It was like Kmart or something. They were clearing out some old games. That's where I picked it up. I did own it for most of my time as a kid. Yep, no clickbait now, Max. Still in retro category. Alright, so when did this even come out? 1986. This is an old game. Same concept, levels are different, basically same enemies. Let's do it. He's going to take the princess. Yep, same concept. All right. All right, let's see. That's jump. Got our lance. Our money bags. I don't know if this has unlimited continues and lives or not. I don't know. Let's we'll see how far I can get just messing around a little bit here. No double jump in this one. I actually... Oh my god. Zombies are coming at me quick. I don't... Wow, I made it a long way. <laughs> oh my god. This is, this is the beginning of level one. Need to stream where I show everything I have. I'd really honestly like to do that, Max. I've got so many boxes of, like, dozens of boxes of stuff just sitting here in this very room right here. It would take forever to go through it all. And there's a lot of stuff still at my parents' house that's boxed up. Alright, let's see if we can get a little bit further here. I'd really like to get somewhere... The lance seems... Oh, there's the knife. Let's get that. Oh, that's so much better. Look at that. All right, well, I'm sticking with this weapon. I don't think there's a crossbow in this one. Actually, let me pull something out. Let me pull something out. This game is in this. 
The official Nintendo Player's Guide. This is from like 1987. I think this game is featured in here. There's Super Mario Brothers. Here it is, Ghost and Goblins. There it is right there, and it's got pictures of all the enemies. It's got pictures of the weapons. And it's kind of hard to see it. Come on. Trying to make it bigger. Nope, that's wrong. Whoops. That's what I wanted to do. Sorry about that. Okay. So this is what we were looking this is what's in this official Nintendo Player's Guide here. We have all kinds of interesting info about every game. No, <laughs> not playing Hollow Knight right now. I clicked the wrong button. Whoops. So uh, these old uh, magazines and stuff, they've got all kinds of information about old games and stuff. It's got secret points. It talks about all the different levels in this game. Let's see what other games we have that I've played. There's Zelda 2. Metro there's, the, there's the original Metroid. Maybe we should do a playthrough of that one time. There's, Metro there's the original Metroid. And Andy and Steamy should recognize what a map would look like for Metroid since it's similar to how it was in Hollow Knight. So there's the map of Metroid. So that's where Hollow Knight kind of got their ideas from, from a giant world like that where you can go everywhere and anywhere. And this has a complete map of everything that shows you where everything in the game is. Let's see what else we got here. There's Castlevania. We just played that the other day. Let's play this. So, before the internet, this is the kind of stuff you used if you wanted to know tricks and stuff about games. It, yeah, that is also a great game, indie. Absolutely. You were born in 1986. You're old. Yeah, well, I'm 40, so I, I'm pretty old, too. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am 40. I know a lot of people don't think I am, but yes, I absolutely am 40. All right, back to Ghost and Goblins. Hollow Ness is way bigger. Yeah, well, that game was made in 1986. Of course it's going to be bigger. Super Metroid was a lot bigger than that. All right, so we got the knife here. This looks like a much better weapon, or the dagger. It's something. Is this the same guy I think it is? Yep, it's this guy again. It's the 8-bit version of this guy. Be any harder? He's actually, it seems a little bit easier. Okay. <laughs> Great. I'm sure there's going to be a level with more of those guys, though. He seemed a little bit easier. Kid Icarus is a great game. I do have that. Maybe we'll stream it one day. Okay, I really like this game so far. This is definitely going to be streamed. This is just like everything I like in a game. It's hard. It controls easily. It's fun. I mean, this is fine. This is good. This is really, really good. There's no... Di I didn't see a difficulty setting. Maybe I missed it. I'll have to go back, but it might not even have one. There's no chance in hell you'd say I'm 40. I am. I am. I am 40. Uh-oh, we got a boss here. It looks like a Cyclops. Hey, he shoots stuff. Jumps. I'm just going to stay back and throw stuff at him. And he's dead. All right. Is that level one? That is level one. All right. That's not too bad. Let's see what level two is like. There's not a difficulty setting. Okay. Yes, Mitzer, what old games he has, he can say yes. Pretty much, Max. You see, Blockbuster Video, a lot of times, I got most of my old games from Blockbuster Video when they would sell their old games. I still have my Blockbuster card. This is where you went to rent movies and video games. This was the place to be back in the days, guys. And I still got my card. <laughs> my official membership card. 
Blockbusters don't exist anymore, but the memories will always live on. Alright, so it looks like we got somewhat of a maze here. There's those little blue guys that was just in Super Super Ghouls and Ghost. So I'm seeing some of the same enemies here. This is cool. Alright, let's pick this stuff up. What is that and what does it do? I don't know. I'm gonna get it. Leap of faith. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Good controls, difficult and fun. That's the kind of games we're going for here on, on my channel. Absolutely. We're no longer a frame dropping stream. Remember I said that last Sunday? Oh shit, that guy came out of nowhere. Alright, so we gotta assume more guys are gonna pop out of this building. Or yep, there there they are. <laughs> Alright, we got some kind of ogres and stuff over here. I like this. I really do like this. I'll keep going until I die again. Or maybe take a couple of... Oh, damn. Oh, viewer geography. Yeah, I, got, I always got to do that. Next part always gave me trouble. This part does not look fun. <laughs> okay, how far back am I? Oh, I'm starting at this again. Okay, so there's checkpoints like there is in the first one. Or like there is in the Super Nintendo version. That stupid little monster got me. Alright, so looks like we... Can you walk through this? No. Okay, so we need to go up and, like, around. <gasps> Didn't know we could throw stuff. Okay, that makes it harder. Game over. Uh-oh. Surely there's continue for a game like that. Yeah, there's continue. <laughs> I was about to say, that you, it can't end here have more dinner. Okay. Yeah, I'm hungry too. As soon as the stream's over, I'm going to get something to eat. Alright, so th this is the first significantly like cha challenging part I've seen in this game, and it's very early. Alright, those guys are down. This is a good weapon, though. I, I don't know what all the weapons do in this game, because I'm not I don't really remember not super familiar with it. But if it's an old game, there's a good chance I own it. I've even owned a few rare ones that I happened to just buy at Blockbuster not knowing they were rare and ended up getting them. I don't know how that bird did not hit me. I have no clue. How am I going to get down the ladder with this guy there? Walk over there? Yeah. I could definitely see myself playing through this game. And the controls kind of feel familiar, simply... Oh! Ugh, freaking bird. The controls just kind of feel familiar, because I just got finished playing Super Ghouls and Ghosts, so it's like the exact same concept here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way to skip the map. Okay, it goes up to stage six. We're here in the like the mid, oh, all the way back to this. Oh boy. <laughs> yep, this is this one's gonna be a challenge. Might actually stream this next Thursday. Might do it. There's a new uh, Ghosts and Goblins game out for the Nintendo Switch that people said are insanely hard. This is the first of these types of games, Andy. This is Ghost and Goblins for the original Nintendo. I put the box up there. Oh, great. This is the original Ghost and Goblins. The Red Demons have their own games also. Really? Yeah, this came out in 1986, Andy. This is a really old game. It's got the map like the other version does. The Red Flying Demons. Okay, I, you know what? 
deal that actually sounds kind of familiar like maybe I've seen those before but they're made by Capcom right how do you dodge all these guys come on because Capcom is the one that made uh, this game series so one for NES I can't remember the name I'm one for SNES that was great it was called Demon's Crest I have heard of that I have heard of that, so that's the same that same guy I couldn't stand. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so you play as that guy. I I don't think I've ever actually seen that game in play. This part's hard. This part's really hard. I'm gonna have to look that up, look that up. His name's Firebrand. Okay. I'm super curious about that now. But I want to say it sounds kind of familiar because maybe I saw it at some point or something. And what would be crazy is I might actually own it because there's so many games I bought from Blockbuster used that I don't even remember everything I've got. That time I killed that stupid little monster. I got him. All right. I want to get past this area right here. Of course, now what I'm going to want to do is once I get past this area, I'm going to go, Hey guys, I want to get past this next area too, so I can sit here and play this all day when I really don't have time to do so. Alright, so this part's not that bad. If you, I, I really need my armor here though. Because once again, it's two hits and you're dead. Has an exploration factor to it, much like Metro. You get a power up and backtrack to get items that you couldn't get before. Okay, that sounds cool. I'm gonna look that up after the stream's over because I'm legitimately interested in having a look at that. Maybe I'll stream it one day. That might be a good game for streaming. Who knows? I'm always on the lookout for new games. And usually I'm. Oh my god, I don't know how that guy didn't hit me. Okay, so we're doing some platforming here. It's not too terrible. I don't care about the money bag. Let's just go. I'm mostly familiar with retro games. I, As far as modern games, I'm clueless. Guys in the chat will tell me about modern games. Okay, doesn't appear to be any. Okay, with this guy again. And dead, okay. Oh, there's another one! Okay, that was unexpected. And dead, alright, that was not a neat, and that was not a hard boss. Alright, now we gotta look at level 3 since I made it this far. <laughs> so we got end of level 3, level 4, 5, and 6. I, I bet it gets a lot harder. <laughs> Alright, so this... Oh my... What was I supposed to do with that? <laughs> Is that an owl? <laughs> I feel like that Mr. Owl character from those old commercials with the Tootsie Pop. That's what that looked like. This is a really good game. I like this. We're definitely going to stream this. Okay, that's a torch. I'm assuming I don't want that because it's so terrible and super ghouls and ghosts. You know what? But let's get it anyway because I want to see what it does. Yeah, it sucks. It's bad. <laughs> Full torch run of this game. How are you supposed to hit anything at range with this? It's got like, it's very limited. And the zombie gets me out of the ground, of course. I can't wait for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Is that like a, a new one coming out, Max? Assuming that's a new one coming out. Okay, you can duck under the bats there. That's nice to know. I'm going to get the knife back. Now, I don't know, but I'm assuming maybe you have to play through this one twice like you do the one on Super Nintendo. Maybe you don't. Maybe that's something new they added in the later series of this games, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of frightened by that possibility. 
All right, looks like we're doing pretty well here. Pretty interesting one, to be honest. I'm looking forward to an 8-bit Ryan and Markiplier <laughs> suffer through it. Oh, it's this guy again! And he's dead, okay. You do it have some crazy typos at the end text. Kind of funny. Oh, we got to see that. I'm looking forward to that then. <laughs> yeah, because games of this time period, they probably weren't exactly hiring experienced translators to do everything, so that doesn't surprise me. Another? Okay. We can take them down. Nope. Wow, okay, how far back am I? So we do have to play through it twice, so that's going to be difficult. But it's so far, so good. I'm, I feel like I'm doing fairly decent here. Alright, so we are going to have to fight these guys. Alright. And a hitbox was that. Come on. Dead, alright. And we got to fight this thing. Dead. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it, it's definitely in the mold of these types of games with its difficulty. Uh, someone was saying, I saw, I clicked on a stream on Twitch. Someone was playing, I don't remember who it was, but it was uh, the new uh, Ghost and Goblins game that just came out on Switch. It's called Resurrection or something. Some guy was was saying he was stuck at level one on the hardest difficulty for like seven hours or something. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so we got to try that. That I'm intrigued by that. Because that sounds absurdly hardcore. Got to try it. Th this is really good. How do you beat these guys without getting hit? Basically another man going through all this to free a princess. I, I bet that's what the concept is. I, I bet it is. I didn't see anything about a princess. I only watched for like 10 minutes and it looked really hard. Wow, you can kill that guy quick if you actually hit him. That guy definitely wasn't a pro gamer like me. I don't know. We haven't played that yet, Max. I may get there stuck for seven hours, too. And I'm I'm, not, I'm definitely not a pro gamer. I like hard games and challenges and stuff, but I'm, it's going to be hard. Oh, my God. We're doing good. All right. No more of those guys. No more of those guys. No more of them. All right. Which way do we go here? Great. Hey, that was an odd hitbox. I missed him. He missed me. I'm assuming we just go to the right here. I have no... Oh. No! There's another one! Alright, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, God. what was that? What is this? Okay, that was just points, I guess. I don't know. Wow! Why can't the guy have an off day and the woman comes and gets him? Yeah, that, they should have done that with the new version. The knight Arthur is the one captured. And the princess is the one doing all this stuff this time. That would be cool. I would like that. Okay, th this level's really starting to get hard. Because we're fighting a lot of these guys. He said his name was F Firebrand. Okay, that's cool. I don't like Firebrand. He's an asshole. I don't know where to get arm. There's no. I haven't seen any chest or anything in this game. I don't know where to get armor back. Something appeared when I was like jumping around earlier, but it wasn't armor. Okay. Trying to find armor. Let the man alone for a while, poor Arthur. Yeah. Boy, this guy's going through absolute hell. Uh, 
there's another one! Give me a break with these guys, that's three! I forgot about those guys again. I think the woman has to accept some responsibility in getting kidnapped over and over. I agree completely. And then even worse, she left that bracelet behind in the second game and expected me to get it. And it was terrible. It was the worst, it was a, not a good weapon. And they made you finish the game with it. All right. And the, this guy's not as bad in this game as he was in, in Super Ghouls and Ghosts, so there's that, but there's like a lot of them on this level. And there's no crossbow. I really want the crossbow back. What's she doing so wrong? It's <laughs> hard to get captured by the... Yeah. I don't know. They, these devils are pretty, pretty threatening. They, these are not incompetent villains in this game, it seems like. All right, so which way should I, I... There's really nowhere I can go here. All right, those guys are going to jump out of the wall. I'm ready for them this time. They got me anyway. All right, well... <laughs> Look at this level! That's This is a third one of these guys. Oh, did he just leave the... He's still alive, I bet. Oh, maybe not. Is that going to be armor? Is that going to be armor? No. What does that even do? Points. Wow. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. Dude. Ah! There's, like, five of these guys on this level. Dude, this is level three. This is getting hardcore. What the hell? Give me a break here. I so want to grind this game now. I really want to beat it. This has definitely got me intrigued. Okay, don't know how I didn't get hit there. <laughs> I'm starting, I'm fearing the deeper levels if they're already throwing this much stuff at me on level three. And there's got to be a place to get armor back. You, you can't just keep going with no armor. They can't expect you to do that. Or maybe they do, I don't know. So the plan is to just not get hit at all. That's not armor. This gives points. Who cares? All right, those guys are gonna. Yeah, we were ready for him that time. Beat this guy again. Oh, he's gone again. Good. Keep going and hope he doesn't come back. Don't you follow me? Don't you do it? Crap, man. Oh, don't want... What? I'm a frog? Okay, I guess I wasn't supposed to get that. Am I going to change back? Or am I going to be a... Okay, I'm, I change back. Okay. <gasps> I don't want this. I like this weapon. What hit me? I just randomly died. I saw something. Mixer's completing the game today. I, he can't leave now. He, he, you know what? I, honestly, I should stop since you bring that up. I have no idea what just happened there. I just randomly died, and I just took another hit there. We need to try and find armor. I don't know what that was. I saw something real quick on the right, and then I just all of a sudden died. That was crap. These types of old games do not have passwords or save features, so when I start over, it'll be back at the beginning, so I really shouldn't get too far since I don't have time to play through this entire game. 
Alright, if these guys just want to keep leaving the screen, I'm totally cool with that. Frogger? Battletoads? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to be a Battletoad again. Whoops. Okay. There's... I just want to look around the level a little bit. Maybe there's armor somewhere. Because this is extraordinarily difficult to have to deal with with no power-ups at all. Is there really nothing here? I'm finding some other stuff by jumping around. I was hoping that maybe armor or something would show up. Apparently there's just none. Or else I just don't know where to get it. There's nothing here. Luminati confirmed. Apparently, since I just died randomly. Uh, that's not armor. Okay. I'm going to keep looking. Nothing here. Ah! Oh my god, there is! Where is this? I gotta remember this spot. I just got armor. Holy crap. It was right above the ladder. It was right here. I jumped, like, right here, and I got it. Go down and right. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to fight another... No, well... At least I got the armor back. I'm happy about that. So it's like right here. I gotta keep that in mind when I play it next. The clock's gonna run out on me. Good God. No, we gotta hurry. Well, let's finish the level. Screen glitch him. I wish that would happen again. Oh, just fall. Just fall. All right, dead. Mario buy a new real life crown for Mario plushie for being a jump king. I could. Could. I don't have a crown sitting around here. All right. Well, hopefully, just I'm not gonna just randomly die again. It's a dragon. The clock's gonna run out on me. Get it! Get it! With two seconds left! <laughs> wow, I guess school tomorrow, a lot of work. Yep. Good old school. I, I honestly, Swabby, I would I would help you with your work if I was there. <laughs> Just because I kind of miss doing some school work back in the day. I, I really do. Mixer's Battle Toads again. I, I speaking of like Battle Toads and stuff. I put okay. I don't know what's going on here. I put all the YouTube uh, videos into groups, or most of them. I didn't get to like Team Fortress and stuff. There's a lot of episodes of that, but like on YouTube, I put the Battle Toads montage as, as its own group, which is like ten videos. I died 404 times to learn the entire game from start to finish. That that was really painful. All right, what's that? I don't even know what that is. Is that a one-up? Got nasty platforming here. All right, well, I guess I'm getting this. I always just go back to college. Then I'd be like a lot of you guys back in school again. That, that might be kind of interesting. This is really annoying here because these ledges are really moving fast. Okay, I guess that's what they want to do there. <laughs> that went well. Let me let me guess. Back to beginning. I should honestly stop though, guys. It's almost three thirty, and I don't want to get too far in this game and then just have to stop because you can't save it. So all this progress is going to be lost, basically. I don't want to get too far. Save that for next time. Yeah, I need to stop. I really do. <laughs> if I don't force myself to stop, I'll just try and finish this game. 
That's what's gonna happen. I'll just sit here and play all day until the game's finished. Alright, so next death, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. I think that, that would be the good thing to do. I'll go as long as I can here until I die. Which will probably be soon. I actually did work today, which was gaming. I like my teachers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. A lot, yeah, a lot of you guys are so, either... <laughs> Same thing happened. There's another one of those demons over there, too. All right. That's going to be it for today, guys. I appreciate y'all hanging out. We'll probably play this next Thursday, try and get through it. This looks difficult. Looks fun. That's going to be the plan. Yeah, I gotta go. It's almost... I was supposed to go like 30 minutes ago, but... I wanted to check this out. This is a good game. I want to play it. I want to do a full playthrough. It's got everything I like. It's got difficulty. It's easy to control. It's fun to play. It's, it's, it's good. We don't really do that much work. It's like math in a movie we have to watch. That's kind of it. Nothing wrong with that. Anytime you're watching a movie in class, that's a good thing. Until they make you take notes. When they make you take notes during a video, then you're getting screwed. <laughs> then it saps all the fun out of it and it turns into work again. Yeah, Dill, thanks for hanging out, man, in the follow. I really appreciate it. And for the hints playing Super Ghouls and Ghosts, that helped. So, uh, I will see you guys again really soon. I really appreciate you hanging out. And you guys have a great rest of your Thursday, and I will catch you next time. Oh yeah, and uh, hold up. One one last thing before I turn the stream off. Let's let's what, what we do every time. We put the Discord link and the YouTube link in. I always do all the previous playthroughs and all that good stuff. And there, there they are. If you guys ever want to check those out? They're right there. Yeah, good times, good times. Had a lot of fun. I'm super happy I managed to get through that game, and I appreciate you guys. Being positive about it along the way, because that, that does make a huge difference. If I was sitting here playing some of this stuff by myself, I'd just, like, rage quit and go, you know, uh, no, I'm done. But it's so much fun, like, with hanging out with you guys doing it and stuff, too. That That's so much better. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It really was. TF2 tomorrow. Um, well, what is tomorrow? Friday? Actually, no, we can, no time for TF2 tomorrow because I, I told Steamy and Andy that uh, we'd keep doing Hollow Knight on Friday and Saturday until we finish it. And then I'm uh, Team Fortress 2 would probably be for sure on Saturday and Sunday. That That is a, that is a definite. No, there's not going to be Team Fortress 3, unfortunately. I wish there was, but there's not. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm looking forward to some Team Fortress 2 because I didn't get to play it last week because my stupid internet was just garbage. Hot garbage, but it was okay today. We only dropped 2,083 frames for the entire stream. 0.3%. It's a big upgrade over like 15% that we dealt with like on Sunday. All right, guys. So you guys take care till next time and have a good one. So, uh... Catch you soon.